Hey guys and welcome to another how to video. Today we're going to look at uh, how to uh, make some ch subtle changes uh, to a map uh, mostly to change the language of a display or the um, or under the prices screen where the uh, sell points are uh, for your personal enjoyment. Now please when we when I show you how to do this uh, this is not uh, going to be how to basically make little changes to the map and then upload the map as your own work. Uh, that is not how things work. Uh, basically, this is to give you information on how to make these changes for your own personal enjoyment. Uh, you do not have permission unless you obtain it from the original mod author to make edits and then redistribute those edits as your own work. Um, so here we are on the map Saxonia. And uh, here you can see this map has these great big informational screens um, at the silo points. So here I am at the main farm, at the main silo point, and you can see we've got uh, some products in there. Uh, all the products are in German, uh, so if you don't know German, then you might be a little uh, confused as to maybe what's, what's being seen there. Uh, there's also an informational screen over here. On, uh, on this particular building, there's some signs, all in German. Uh, so again, you might be a little confused as to you know, what's going on here, what's, being, what's accepted here. You know, what are these signs saying uh, from a standpoint of, you know, just being able to generally play the game. And then on this particular map, there's also a whole bunch of uh, factory scripts uh, that have these informational screens. And the informational screens are showing stuff, sometimes they'll show stuff uh, in English on the F1 screen, but the informational screen itself will be in German. Uh, so what we will do is during this how-to video, I will show you information on basically what kinds of files to change, how to change them um, so that in the end uh, you have a finished product where you have basically whatever language you should so desire on your screens, um, on your signs, and on your uh, display boards on your factory scripts. So uh, let me get some stuff set up and uh, we'll be right back uh, working in Notepad++. All right, so we're back real quick. I forgot that I wanted to show you the prices screen. So here we have the prices screen for this map. Uh, and as you can see, all the destinations are in German. Um, we have Maple Field Mill and a, the biogas plant, a restaurant and spinnery, a couple other that are, that are still in English. But uh, for the most part, uh, they're all in German. Uh, we're really not sure what they say uh, if you don't understand German. Uh, thankfully, the icons, you know, they're, they're all the same. So you know what, wheat's wheat. Uh, but also, if we look at the main map, uh, we've got all of our destination points here, uh, basically in German. So this will also show you basically how to make changes to this screen such that uh, your sales points and such will be uh, in English. So when we come back, we'll be in Notepad++. Okay, so here we are at our desktop, and the first thing we need to do is uh, copy the zip file to your desktop, and then uh, extract the zip file so that it's a, in a folder, and that we've, that's what we have here uh, being shown, is the extracted zip file, and we're going to be looking for the maps uh, folder, so we're going to go into the maps folder, and then we're going to look for an i3d file, uh, typically it's named map01, uh, here it is. Uh, it just so happens to have the Giants Editor icon next to it. Uh, you do not need the Giants Editor to make these changes. I just so happen to have that installed, so that's just showing up. And once you find the i3d file, it may be called something different, uh, depending on the map. <coughs> Look for a corresponding XML file with the same name. And here we are. And this is what we're going to open up in Notepad++. So let's say that. Uh, let me pull up Notepad++ here for you. Okay, and let me uh, bring that to the front. All right, so this is the map 01 XML file, and in here we have several things being defined. Uh, specifically, we're going to look for these tip triggers. Okay, 
So here we have a tip trigger, index, farm silo. We do not want to ever change this index value. Never change this. Leave it as it is. Because uh, if you change this, you will break the map. Uh, what we are looking for is station name. Okay, so we can change this all we want. Um, and this is what will appear in the uh, PDA as a hotspot uh, name. And then we have this value here, appears on PDA equals false, or it may say equals true, depending on the, uh, depending on the setting. <clears throat> so right now, this is the main farm silo uh, grain bin. It's named Hoff Silo 1 and appears on the PDA is set to false. So what we can do is we can go in here and we can change this to read farm silo. And we can set this to appears on PDA equal to true. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll show that uh, here in a bit uh, once we're done our edits. Um, so here we have another one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up uh, Google Translate. And that's we're going to plug in that number that name. So let me just uh, copy this. So Google Translate says that uh, that particular word is basically warehouse. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to change this to warehouse. Okay. And we're going to set this to true just so that we can see it on the map. Hoff silo 2. So we're going to make this farm silo 2. And we're going to set the PDA to true. Just because we would like to see where all of our various silos are on the map. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, skip through these. We'll make these edits here in a bit. All right, so this, let's put this in Google Translate and see what we get. We get recharging station, okay? That really doesn't make much sense to me, um, but we'll just go ahead and plug it in here, recharging station. And this is recharging station two, obviously. Okay, and also below this line, these are the fill types uh, that this particular location will accept. So this recharging station takes wheat, barley, rape, maize, sunflower, soybean, potato, sugar beet, oat, rice, spelt, triticale, and millet. Uh, this particular map happens to have these extra fruit types or, or crop types added. <clears throat> so we're going to change, we're just going to change this one to read true, just for fun. Uh, then we get down here to anything that looks like this, station underscore BGA bunker, Goldcrest Valley. Uh, don't change those. Don't change those edits. That's kind of like a variable uh, that's in game and that will basically come up the McLean biogas plant. Uh, so we don't need to change that. Um, here we have this and I just happen to know that that is uh, a mill. So we'll just change this to mill. Okay. And here we have appears on PDA is already set to true. So we don't need to change that. Uh, we're not going to change this one or this one because they are variables or this one. So all of these are variables within the game. We're just going to leave those there. All right, here we have one. So let's uh, look this one up. This says straw sales. Okay, so we're going to, again, we just change the station name. Uh, we don't change anything else. Make sure the print, the quotes are correct. Uh, a nice thing about uh, Notepad++ will be that uh, if you do um, forget or edit out a quotation mark, uh, it will change the color coding of the text around it uh, to kind of give you an indication that uh, you may have uh, messed something up. So we're just going to change a few more of these. We're not going to change all of them because uh, there's just so many. So this is the Zord Worker Nord. Uh, this takes, I know Nord stands for North. So I've already done some of these translations. So this is Sugar Works Nord. Uh, so we'll just change this to Sugar Works. 
We'll just change this to Sugar Factory. Okay. So you would work your way down through these, edit all the ones that you wish to edit, uh, name them whatever you want to name, and then save your XML file. Okay. Now, if we launch the game, so I will launch the game and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in the game. Um, something I didn't mention, and we'll cover uh, toward the end of the video, but uh, what I did was I copied the customized XML, map01.xml file, into the zip file uh, that's in the mods folder of the map, uh, and basically replaced the original mod or the original map01.xml file with our edit. <clears throat> and here you can see on the prices screen, uh, Farm Silo and Farm Silo 2 are now being displayed. Uh, they have zero prices because these are storage locations. Uh, we also have down here, uh, let's see if we can find some of our other changes. Here's the Dresder Mill. Uh, that was not mill earlier, that was something else. <clears throat> here we have the recharging station that we added. Uh, straw sales one, two, and three, and sugar factory. So you can see our changes are are showing up here on this screen. And if we uh, if we tag this, and we go over here, all right. So we have now the sugar factory. Let's see if I can click on it. Um, listed here on the information screen. Uh, there's so many there's so many other things up in this area. It's hard to see. But uh, here we have the Dresder Mill. Well, you can see let's get rid of some of these things so we can see that better. So here we can see Dresder Mill, hopefully. Here we can see the icon for Farm Silo. And uh, down here we have Straw Sales 2. That was not previously on the map. Straw sales three. Okay, so you can see that our edit straw sales one right here. Um, <clears throat> recharging station. So we can visit the recharging station. Here's the recharging station on the map. Uh, so you can see these things previously weren't on the map, uh, but they are now. Farm silo two. <clears throat> so let's go back. So now here's our second farm silo. So as you can see, simply just changing the XML wording uh, under under the maps folder uh, will allow us to change how the selling points appear on the map and also how they appear on the PDA as icons. So let's uh, jump back and we'll make some more changes and uh, we'll show you how to make changes to the informational screens. Uh, basically these screens here so that when you read them they make some sense to you. All right, so here we are back at our desktop. Uh, we have our Explorer window up. And uh, now we're gonna look at how to change the informational screens. And for that, we're gonna need a graphics editor. I use paint.net, it's free. Uh, so it's one of the best uh, graphics editors you can get since you don't have to pay any money for it. <clears throat> so we've got our map folder back up uh, that we extracted on the desktop. We're gonna go back into our maps folder and then we're going to go into our textures folder. So these are basically all of the graphic textures in the map. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here until we find um, something of particular interest. <clears throat> so here we have uh, what looks like, and let's uh, open this up. Um, okay, let's uh, display our paint application. Let's move this over here. Okay. So here we have our paint.net uh, application. <clears throat> and here is one of the informational screens. Uh, this appears to be the informational screen for the sage work or the sawmill. Uh, let's look for the one. Um, I'm going to pause here. And when I come back, we'll have the informational screen for the uh, silo that's right there on the main farm. So hold on. 
Okay, so here we are. I found the particular texture that we wanted. Uh, this is the informational screen for the f main farm's uh, fermentation silo. And uh, we're going to, uh, let's just make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're working on. All right, so here we go. Let's move this over here to the center. So we have, this is what will appear in that little uh, LED screen. Uh, we have fermenter AZ21. Uh, we have version 1.0.0.0, uh, the Fabrique script, uh, and here we have uh, some language, some uh, German. So this is basically raw materials. Uh, this is then whatever that is. We'll have to look that up. This is product and silage. So let's look up um, this 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 word. Okay. So that comes out to chaff. Okay. So let's go in here, and this is how I do it. Uh, there's probably a better way of doing this, uh, but this is just how I figured out how to do it. Uh, we're going to, let's see here. All my little tools aren't showing up. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on here, but we'll just, uh, so in paint.net, there's a little dropper icon that says color picker. We're going to pick that. And we're just going to click in here on the background um, so that now we have selected the same color as our background. Uh, we are also then going to pick our shapes tool. And we're going to basically draw a square right here over uh, that word. And we're going to select basically to fill it. All right. There we go. <clears throat> so I had to pick. I had to pick um, draw filled shape uh, instead. And now we have basically covered up the original word um, that was listed here. So now we're going to pick our text tool, and we're going to click in there, and we're just going to type what we want. All right. So we forgot to change our text to black. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've done that. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Well, not that big. Okay. Now we couldn't see what we were typing, so we're going to need to. Uh... All right. So now we're going to call that raw materials. And uh, we're just going to leave it right there. The particular font's fine, but if we want to change the font you know, to something else, we can. And we're going to repeat that step. Again, we have our shape tool. I'm not really sure why our uh, our little tools aren't showing up, but we're going to um, select that. We're going to pick our little dropper, our color match, okay, and then we're going to pick our bucket to fill, and we're going to fill that in. All right. So now we're going to basically remember kind of where that was lined up, and we're going to go in here and we're going to change our font to black. I've got a little color window off to the side here, so I'm picking that. And we're going to type in chaff. Okay. And we're going to change the size on this just a little bit to make it so that it's uh, very close to the same size as what is below. And uh, we're just going to make it bold so it looks about the same. All right. So there we are. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to save this. Uh, we're going to save this file, and we are going to basically overwrite the file that was there previously. So if we go back and look at our Explorer window, if we make it bigger here. See here. Let's uh, view 
extra large. So let's scroll till we find our graphic. So right here is the graphic we changed. Uh, you can see it now says raw materials and chaff. Uh, we left the product. Let's uh, let's go ahead and change that to um, finished good, finished goods. So again, we're going to draw our box. Uh, better if, be better if we put uh, put this where you all could see it. So we're going to draw our box. We're going to pick our color choose dropper, and then we're going to pick our fill bucket. And now we have filled that in. We're going to pick our text. Uh, we're going to select black so we can see what we type. And we're going to basically plug in here um, finished goods. We're going to move it around a little bit so it kind of lines up better. Make it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to unbolt it so it looks very similar to raw materials. And we're going to save that. Okay, so if we go back here and look at Explorer, we now have here our <clears throat> we now have here our changed image, raw materials, finished goods, and silage. So basically, you would go through, and this particular map has a lot of information screens. Um, you go through and change all the screens that you wanted to change. Uh, let's look at something else. So here we have our informational boards for our silo. Okay, let's bring that up. So we basically do the same thing here that we want to do. Uh, we're going to draw our box. Okay, we're going to pick our color. And then we are going to write within the box, <coughs> picking our font black again, wheat, barley, canola, um, corn, soybean, sunflower, potatoes, and sugar beets. Okay, so then we're going to, let's make the font a little bit bigger. All right, so the, the goal is that everything lines up. Oops, we need to get back to our little box. All right, so there's two ways of doing this. You could do it this way, or you could go in here and probably the way that I should have done it initially is to go in here and make a new layer, add new layer, okay? And then work within that new layer. So then we will uh, draw our box. We'll pick our color chooser. Now we have to go down here and change to our first layer to get our color. And then we'll have to pick back our second layer and we'll change that. <clears throat> and then we can type in here what we want. Wheat, barley, uh, canola, corn, soybeans, sunflowers, potatoes, and sugar beets. Okay, and if that's not quite lined up right, we can. Uh, can move it around a little bit and then we can change the top here if we want uh, using the same basic principle save the file uh, we want to save it as a DDS 
if we do layers it's going to want to save it as something different yes we want to replace it and we want to flatten it so it doesn't have layers and now we have changed our file we can see it over here in the background it is changed already so we just work through all of these images until we basically change the ones that we want to change uh, we do the same thing for <clears throat> files like this so uh, we would open this up in paint okay we would look this word up in Google Translate let's just go ahead and do that real fast it says bail sales <clears throat> so we will uh, in paint uh, basically take our box our shape tool we will draw a box over the word uh, we will pick white as our fill and we will fill in our box with white all right not really sure that's what that little dot is okay now we'll take our text tool we'll pick our black font again and we'll go in here and we'll just say bail sales b-a-l-e okay and we can make this bigger to fit better within the um, sign and we'll save that out and now you see it's changed in our folder so we would go through and basically do this on all of the folders or on all the textures that we wanted to change depending on the map there may be more um, textures than there are for other maps and then basically what we will do is when we're done we will zip this up uh, we'll zip this back up okay by right clicking and uh, saying send to uh, compress zip we'll put this copy this into our mods folder and then we'll fire up the game and see our changes but before we do that uh, we want to identify our edits so first off there's in the map folder uh, we will see hold on here I'm not really sure why So in the maps folder, the main root of the maps folder, uh, we have an icon DDS and a map preview DDS. Okay, so let's open both of those up in paint. Let's close out these that we don't need. Okay, so this is the little icon that shows up in your mods list when you're picking it. So we want to identify our edit from the original. Uh, so the easiest way to do that is to take our text tool, uh, click on in here, and just type edit. Okay, and we can put that wherever we want. Uh, we'll put it down here. Okay, and we'll hit save. Okay, and then we'll pick our other one. Uh, this is the uh, screen where you're picking the map, uh, the full size screen. And we're going to basically do the same thing. We're just going to say personal edit. Okay, let's make that a little bit bigger. So now when you are picking uh, this particular map, we'll save that. Okay. Uh, so now we will basically go over here. We will send all of this to a compressed zip folder. So it is now compressing. And then once it's compressed, uh, we will rename this to um, something that we want to call it. We'll probably call this one Saxonia MF 
edit okay and then copy that zip folder into your uh, mods folder and uh, when we come back uh, we'll basically be looking at our edited version of the map all right so we have already zipped up this folder uh, we stuck it in our mods folder uh, we've booted up the game and this is the uh, map loading screen uh, you see here uh, this one says personal edit uh, this is a map uh, this is a version of Saxonia that I had uh, personally edited a while back. Uh, that's why the uh, font there is a little bit different. Uh, but it is now defined differently than the original. So this is the original version of the map. And now we can select our personal edit, which is a second copy of the map in our mods folder. All right, so we're going to continue. So we're going to deselect our mods. We don't need that. And we're going to load up the screen, the map, and uh, we'll see the kinds of changes uh, that we've made and uh, be able to now uh, read the informational screens and pretty much uh, do what we want to do uh, with respect to the map uh, in the language of our preference. So we'll just wait for this to load up. Okay. So let's uh, run on over here. Well, let's just pull up the informational screen. So we have, um, here you can see where I have gone in and I have changed all of these. I've added some things that weren't previously listed in the information screen. And uh, we've renamed all of these. So we have seed trade, uh, straw sales, the sugar factory, train unloading, liquid waste sales, kerosene sales, uh, this hotel, heating plant, grain dump. Okay, so we've basically gone through and I've changed and renamed most of these. Here's roughage ramp, compost sales, farm silo 2, straw sales, overloading station, sugar factory, straw sales at the farm, all right, so let's jump to that. So if you remember, this sign and this sign uh, said something completely different, uh, but we didn't really know what it said. So we now have clear to understand signage here. Uh, over here, we had our information screen that had all the products in German, but now we have them in English. So we have straw, grass, silage, chaff, power food, pig food, potatoes, sugar beets, and wood chips, and hay. Uh, the important thing when editing these is to make sure that they kind of line up with the original text uh, so they line up with the number digits uh, when they're all when it's in the game. Let's go over here and look at our main silo board. Here we have our main silo board now where it says main storage yard. Wheat, barley, canola, corn, soybeans, sunflower, oats, rye, millet, spilt grain, our mixed grain, and millet. Um, we have our quantities. Uh, we don't have any product in here, so I can't really show you the information screen. Uh, but what I'll do is I will uh, give me a moment. I'll be right back and uh, I'll toss some grass in here and uh, we'll see this thing running. All right, guys, here we are back. I've put some chaff in or some grass in. And as you see now, we have our fermenter. Uh, let me zoom on in. So we have our fermenter AZ21. Uh, we have raw materials chaff, uh, finished goods silage. Our, we didn't quite do a good job of lining up our, our top there a little bit, uh, but uh, you can now see that it is changed. Uh, we now know what it says. It's all in English. Uh, and it just took a little bit of time to go in and edit a few texture files uh, with paint.net. Uh, and there you go. So after a few hours of, of work, uh, we now have a completely edited um, version of the map where we have uh, signs of our language preference English in this case our informational screen display English and our fabric our um, factories our factory information screens 
went out of display English. Uh, so we're not uh, having a difficult time trying to figure out what's accepted where. So I hope this uh, how-to video was helpful. Uh, if it was, uh, leave some comments. Uh, go ahead and click the like button. If there's anything else that you'd like for me to make a how-to video of, uh, go ahead uh, feel free to request in the comments below. Until next time, happy farming, y'all.